The next hand, the, okay, the next basket that I'm going to show you how to do is with the spray of film on top. Now that last one was over the handle. This is going to come up with the spray of film. So, I'm going to do the bag. Now, with this basket, if I tried to do the bag the same way as I did the last one that's this way, it would be too short because I need all that fluff up on top. So what I'm going to do is make a bag in this direction, okay? So I start off with a straight edge. Remember, this is open here. But what I want to do is I want to create the bag this way. So I'm going to open this sealed edge up. This is now going to become the top of my bag. I seal closed the open end, so I'm making a tubular bag. Now notice how she can lengthen the seal by making two consecutive seals. So this is now the bottom of my bag. I'm going to take off the corners so I don't get that excess film or dog ears as some people call them. And there, in a few seconds time, I've created a custom bag. I open this up, I take my basket, and I drop it in. I line up the seam to my handles. Gather up my film. Now, if you're doing are not if you are not doing a large production of baskets and you're doing one at a time, I don't even bother to just tie it off before I shrink it. That takes a little bit of time. So I gather up my film and then I start shrinking the bag around the handles first because the seams will strengthen the bag around the barrel. Take out the excess film. Notice how she keeps moving the heat gun. It's constant motion. That prevents you from burning holes in your film as you're shrinking it down. Exactly. So, there I've created a very professional basket that you can see very easily. Now, for those of you that use cello, your customers are going, is that soap or is that a cookie? But here, with our system, you can clearly see the items that are inside. Now, there's a couple different things that you can do at this point. Now, you can take a topper, I call them. This is one of those hair bows. These are very easy to use, especially for smaller baskets. Or you can put a bow or a pool bow on it. But I like to use these hair bows that you can get at any dollar store um, inside my baskets and out. It fills up the basket, it adds some extra color, and it looks really good. So, if you go like this, it looks very good, and your customers can reuse these also. So you can make it part of your gift basket. See that? Adds a lot of nice color. And then, of course, you can cut this. But, another thing...